Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to do the vocabulary review sentences for Second Grade Journeys Lesson 9. And our anchor text is How Chipmunk Got His Stripes. For this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. And you're going to number that paper 1 to 16. Or your teacher might have given you this worksheet. It already has the numbers 1 to 16 with the sentences on it. Either way, get your materials. If you need to, push pause, get your pencil and paper, and then push play when you're ready to join me. Let's review our learning target for this lesson. I can use pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits the sentence? Well, here are our steps to success. Number one, I will read each sentence or group of words. I will, number two, choose the vocabulary word that best fits each sentence. And three, write the correct vocabulary word on my whiteboard or paper. So let's review our vocabulary. You do not need to write these words yet. We're just reading them and looking at each picture. A, tunnel. B, curled. C, height. D, direction. E, toward. F, healed. G, brag. And H, tease. All right, number one. Here's our first sentence and first word that you need to write. Patrick was so scared that he blank up into a ball. Patrick was so scared that he tunnel up into a ball, that he curled up into a ball, that he height up into a ball, or that he direction up into a ball. What makes the best sense, given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Curled, C-U-R-L. E D. Patrick was so scared that he curled up into a ball. So if I go too fast, push pause, write the word, and then push play when you're done. Number two, the injured bird will fly again once, once it is blank. The injured bird will fly again once it is toward, once it is healed, once it is brag, or once it is tease. What makes the most sense in that sentence? Healed, H-E-A-L-E-D. The root word is heal. It has the E-D ending, so that's in the past tense. Healed, the injured bird will fly again once it is healed. The injured bird will fly again once it is healed. Number three, these birds all flew in the same blank. These birds all flew in the same tunnel. These birds all flew in the same curled. These bir birds all flew in the same height. These birds all flew in the same direction. What makes the most sense given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Direction, D-I-R-E-C-T-I-O-N, direction. These birds all flew in the same direction. These birds all flew in the same direction. Number four. It was hard not to blink about our pictures. 
It was hard not to toward about our pictures. It was hard not to healed about our pictures. It was hard not to brag about our pictures. Or it was hard not to tease about our pictures. What makes the best sense given where it is in the sentence and the picture clues? Brag, B-R-A-G. It was hard not to brag about our pictures. It was hard not to brag about our pictures. Number five, we wanted to measure the cat's blank in inches. We wanted to measure the cat's blank in inches. Would it be we wanted to measure the cat's tunnel in inches? We wanted to measure the cat's curled in inches. We wanted to measure the cat's height in inches. Or we wanted to measure the cat's direction in inches. Look at your picture clues. Height. H-E-I-G-H-T. Height. We wanted to measure the cat's height in inches. We wanted to measure the cat's height in inches. Number six. Mama and Papa were upset because brother liked to blank sister. What is brother doing? Mama and Papa were upset because brother liked to toward sister, healed sister, brag sister, or tease sister. Tease. Brother Bear is teasing his sister. Mama and Papa were upset because brother liked to tease sister. T-E-A-S-E, -E, tease. Mama and Papa were upset because brother liked to tease sister. Number seven, the chipmunk escaped to her blank underground. The chipmunk escaped to her blank underground. Where did she escape? Did she escape to her tunnel underground, her curled underground, her height underground, or her direction underground? Tunnel. You see there's tunnels in the picture. The chipmunk escaped to her tunnel underground. The chipmunk escaped to her tunnel underground. T-U-N-N-E-L. Tunnel. Number eight. It's not polite to blank too much. It's not too polite to blank too much. It's not polite to toward too much, healed too much, brag too much, or tease too much. What is he doing? Where? The, what do the picture clues tell us? Brag. It's not polite to brag too much. B-R-A-G. Brag. It's not polite to brag too much. B-R-A-G. Brag. Number nine. Which blank is your house from here? Which blank is your house from here? Which tunnel is your house from here? Which curled is your house from here? Which height is your house from here? Which direction is your house from here? Direction. Which direction is your house from here? Which direction is your house from here? Direction. D-I-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. Direction. Number 10. We walked blank to school. We walked blank to school. We walked toward the school. We walked healed to school. We walked brag to school, or we walked tease to school. We walked toward the school, or to the school, right? T-O-W-A-R-D, toward. T-O-W-A-R-D, we walked toward the school. The gopher dug a long blank underground. 
the gopher dug a long tunnel underground. The gopher dug a long curled underground. The gopher dug a long height underground. Or the gopher dug a long direction underground. What did the d gopher dug, dig? Tunnel. He dug a, the gopher dug a long tunnel underground. The gopher dug a long tunnel underground. T U N N E L. T U N N E L. Tunnel. Number 12. What is an antonym or opposite for complement? comfort, or soothe. So it says, you rock. That's what the ruler said to the rock. And the rock said to the ruler, you rule. And then the boy said, nice shirt. So what's the opposite of giving compliments or comforting or soothing? Would it be toward, healed, brag, or tease? The opposite, an antonym. Tease, T-E-A-S-E. -E. Teasing is the opposite of giving a compliment. Tease, T-E-A-S-E. -E. Tease is an antonym for compliment, comfort, or soothe. I wonder what the blank of the giraffe is. So look at our picture clues. I wonder what the tunnel of the giraffe is, curled of the giraffe is, height of the giraffe, or direction of the giraffe. Height. I wonder what the height of the giraffe is. H-E-I-G-H-T. Height. I wonder what the height of the giraffe is. H-E-I-G-H-T. Height. All right. The cut on my arm blanked after a few days. The cut on my arm toured after a few days, healed after a few days, brag after a few days, tease after a few days. The cut on my arm blank after a few days. Healed. The cut on my arm healed after a few days. The cut on my arm healed after a few days. The root word is heal, and there's an E-D, H-E-A-L-E-D. -E Number 15, the dog and cat were blank up on the couch. The dog and cat were tunnel up on the couch. The dog and cat were curled up on the couch. The dog and cat were height up on the couch. The dog and cat were direction up on the couch. What are they doing? They're curled. They're in a circle, C-U-R-L-E-D, curled. The dog and cat were curled up on the couch. Isn't that sweet? The dog and cat were curled up on the couch. Number 16, what is a synonym, a word that means the same or similar for coming and forward? Moving forward, would it be toward, healed, Brag or tease. Toward, T-O-W-A-R-D, toward, that means you're going to something. Toward, T-O-W-A-R-D. All right, let's check your work. Number one, curled. Number two, healed. Number three, direction. Number four, brag. Number five, height. Number six, tease. Number seven, tunnel. Number eight, brag. If you need to, push pause. Fix any words that you need to do for numbers one to eight. And then when you're ready, push play. Number nine, direction. Number 10, toward. Number 11, tunnel. Number 12, tease. Number 13, height. Number 14, healed. Number 15, curled. And number 16, toward. So if you need to, push pause. Make any corrections for 9 to 16. And when you're done, push play.
Nice work, you have mastered your vocabulary words. Up at the top of your page, I want you to write your reflection grade. I can use pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence. Would it be four? I could teach this lesson. I easily selected all the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Three, I was able to select most of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Two, I was able to select some of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Or one, I was not able to select any of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. How do you think you did? Four, three, two, or one? All right, boys and girls, thank you for doing the vocabulary re review with me. Have a great day.